Hi, hello, this is Kaz Risk, and right now you're watching another Let's Play here on YouTube.com slash Kaz Risk, and in a continuation of the Super Mario celebration for uh, Super Mario Brothers having its 30 year anniversary, um, I thought it'd be nice to go ahead and play Super Mario 64 to kind of continue on after the um, series that I had with my brother, um, Zach and I. And so I know that this uh, is a 3D entry and won't have as much uh, influence on Super Mario Maker. Um, which is released you I'll probably be playing it right about now uh, and uh, How do I I want to grab this there we go? Um, but uh, I did do some research on this game and I've played it a lot and I just know I'm a little bit about it to kind of know that this definitely was obviously very influential and Actually influenced the new Super Mario Brothers series quite a bit which is present in Super Mario Maker And so I thought this would be a nice little <laughs> look at that um, it'd be a nice little journey to go and play this for a little bit, and plus it's just more Mario, and it's Super Mario 64, so how can you complain? So, look at that face. It's beautiful. We love it. And we gotta go. Press start. And so I already got a couple stars here, so I think what my plan is is to go ahead and get a couple more stars. Sorry we can't get to see the intro there. Um, iconic intro with Peach writing the letter. It's been used in many other Mario games and Galaxy and... Um, Galaxy 2, I know for sure, and I think in the, even the Paper Mario games. But uh, let's go back here to the bomb field. I guess not back here, because you you didn't see me go there the first time. But definitely one of my favorite songs in all of Mario history. And so let's go... Hmm. Let's go ahead and do the big bomb at the summit. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Now, first things first. Uh... This whole game is notably, obviously, in 3D. And at the time, though, that this wasn't the first 3D game, but it was definitely, like, the revolutionary 3D platformer. And Miyamoto has even said when being interviewed about Super Mario Maker that um, the process of making Mario 3D and having his input be able to go left and right and up and down and jump was very, very different and made for a very cool... Um, oh, oops. Um, a very cool change that he wasn't used to and when he was asked about his favorite Super Mario Brothers memories he actually said that his favorite Super Mario memory was kind of the process of making Super Mario 64 um, he actually had an interesting take on it where he was saying that uh, he kind of enjoyed the process of making Mario like a personal um, playable character that you had and that you connected with and he said that through the process of being able to go in X, Y, and Z in all sorts of dimensions, it made it so um, he was much more relatable and had a little bit more personality to him. And you kind of see that with just the whole um, jumping in the wee wah and Charles Marnette uh, doing that. But I mean, even also, I think, even if we just stand here for a bit, Mario will fall asleep and get tired, and they just kind of add a little bit of a depth to him and the personality that does influence uh, Super Mario Maker and just the Mario we know and love today. And uh, I kind of just did it earlier there, but you also see Mario doing the triple jump, which comes back in the new Super Mario Brothers series, which is a big, big mechanic in Super Mario Maker. The fact that you can do a triple jump and then you have the wall jump here. Forget that, we're not gonna. Oh, maybe not. They could do a wall jump there, maybe not. Um, but yeah, this the wall jump mechanic, which is oh my gosh, which is prevalent in the game, and so that was definitely an interesting thing right there. Uh, we mentioned it in the Doki Doki Panic um, Super Mario Brothers 2 Let's Play that there's a life bar there. The 3D Mario's added that in, um, which hadn't really been seen. And we'll get some life back here, and then we'll go up and we'll kill that son of a gun that's at the top of this mountain. I know I could have done the teleport thing there. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of playing. I'm just enjoying the game. I'm not trying to do a speed run here. I'm just running around. Bomb the big bomb. Lord of all the blood matter. King that can bomb the world over. Dare you scale my mountain? But what right do you have to set foot on my imperial mountaintop? Yo, man. Anyone can climb a mountain. You may have eluded my guards. <laughs> eluded your guards. I walked right past them and then they blew up. You'll never escape my grasp. You'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? 
<laughs> I think that you could not. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, yeah, look how slow you are. Look how fast I can run. Oh, look at that. I just did a backflip. Oh, I did another backflip. Do you understand the amount of physical strength it takes to... Oh, crap. <laughs> to do a backflip, like, three times in a row? All right. You may have bested me that time, but I'm going to best you this time. As soon as I figure out the controls. There we go. Haha. <laughs> No, definitely horrible graphics. That's what I was uh, going to say. Um, or when I was thinking of some things to comment on. Oh my gosh, get around him. It's just the fact that, you know, Super Mario World ages very well. Uh, and uh, Super Mario World ages very well. I think even the original Super Mario Brothers ages pretty well. Um, and Super Mario Brothers 3 has a pretty cool aesthetic to it with the pixel art and the whole theater thing but you know unless you have like some hardcore nostalgia glasses and really for some reason just like the polygon look because maybe you associate it with something like in your childhood this looks bad and I'm sorry um, I don't think too many people would deny that but I know this can be of course some people in the comment section they're like no it's, it doesn't matter about it. graphics it's art style but even art style aside this is just it's ugly it's the best with what they had, but, uh... What, what? Can it be that the pipsqueak like Yoda feels like a bomb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll never have to pick up the pace if you want to take on King Koopa by the tail. Methinks my troops may like learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select it. <laughs> and then, yeah, it gives you a lesson in menu design. All right, whatever, man. Yeah, and I already got it when I was kind of playing through and learning the controls and doing some video capturing testing uh yeah playing this on the wii u virtual console you guys can pick it up if you want for ten dollars or i believe it's cheaper if you already owned it on the wii um if you haven't played super mario 64 first of all just what in the world you even played super mario 64 and second of all you should like uh, it's weird we're getting to a generation now of gamers growing up that probably haven't played Super Mario 64 because it's getting to be significantly old and outside of the virtual console it's just kind of probably hard to pick up I mean because even now it's um, kind of obsolete on the on the DS wait aren't I supposed to pick up where'd that penguin go oh, wait he's like up here isn't he hey little buddy oh shoot come on now Okay, easy now. Easy, Penguin. What's up, man? I'm gonna take you home. Don't cry, man. Isn't there a way like, to like slide down this and just like get like straight to him? There's something, I thought. Oh, wait, we can make the snow... I totally forgot about the snowman that you can make. Alright, I forgot where we're going. For those of you that know Super Mario 64, like the back of your hand, this is probably really stressing you out that I have no idea what I'm doing. And it's, well, not that I have no idea what I'm doing. It's just, it's been years since I've played this. Um, I played it when I was young, got all the stars. I replayed it on the, um, on the, uh, the Nintendo 3DS, or not 3DS, the regular DS. You find a precious baby, where have you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? Oh, have this, that was, that was easy. I thought I'd like go collect all her babies, but aren't like some like imposters or something? Oh yeah, hey, don't freak out, don't freak out. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Wait, how do I throw it? Ha! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> I just killed your kid. Thanks for the star. Wait. Hey, give me the star. No way. And give me the star. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry I killed your kid. There we go. Thank you. Oh, look, and they're like dancing behind me, like, what's up? Doing little penguin flaps. Meanwhile, their kids plumbing to their death. Oh, good times. Little penguin lost. Yeah, little penguin dead. All right, we're at six stars, and we need two more to be able to face King Koopa. All right, let's go somewhere else so I can show off more levels. 
Hmm. <laughs> Nothing to see up there. I already got that one over there. Oh crap! Wrong thing. Get out of there! Get out of there! Go! 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 Although, isn't there a place down there where like a toad gives me a star just for no reason? It's just like, yo, what's up, man? I love you. I care about you. I'm toad. Use a star. To the top of the fortress. Uh, yeah. I can get to the top. That's easy enough. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but anyway, it's kind of cool, though, to see... Um, I was recently reading a Game Informer... Oh, crap. I was recently reading a Game Informer article um, in a September issue. So if you subscribe to Game Informer, you can go read it for yourself, or you can maybe find it online. Um, I think it was called Into Digital, Into Digital Dust, and it was about just the pres uh, preservation of games and how um, a lot of games and the culture behind them are becoming, oh my gosh, I did the same exact thing, um, are becoming lost because of um, everything being so digital. And as the world advances and as code becomes obsolete, a lot of um, of the, the culture and I guess just the general um, art and appreciation surrounding a video game is turning into dust because it's... Uh, just code it's numbers it can become very easily lost compared to something like a work of art which can be preserved through materials and frames in a museum and stuff um, it's hard to do that with something like coding work and so um, one of the things they were saying though is that not only is it a matter of keeping the code alive but it's also a matter of keeping like the the context alive and you have something like super mario 64 which I think most gamers nowadays would revere as the one of the best 3D platformers ever, and people are constantly trying to get something like it back. And like when Super Mario Galaxy came out, it was kind of like, oh, finally, here's the innovation that we were looking for. And when Super Mario 3D World came out, it was a great 3D platformer, but it wasn't that innovation that a lot of people were looking for. And so uh, you give this game to a gamer nowadays, though, like a new gamer, and they wouldn't really completely understand, and they'd be really held back by the graphical power of the N64 and they wouldn't appreciate it for the beauty that it is. And um, I think that's gonna be a big thing going forward is that we're gonna have to try to do our best to explain the context of why this was a big deal at its time. Mm -hmm. One thing I am gonna say though is I really do like the, the gamepad controls. It feels pretty good. It's definitely not the N64 which was designed for um, the N64 controller, which was kind of designed hand-in-hand -hand with Super Mario 64 in mind. But, um, do you have a star for me, bro? Yo, bro. Okay, I don't even care what you said. I just wanted to get a star from you, and you didn't provide, so I'm out of here. Um... One thing, though, is I am using, compared to the Let's Plays I did with Zach, if you've been following me, I am using some new software, and so I hope you enjoy. Um, there should be a little bit of a boost in quality, and uh, um, one thing that I don't have, though, is my old one used to have a timer at the bottom and said how long we went, and so I don't know how long we're going now, but actually, no way, I don't want to go down there quite yet. Oh, there we go. First try. Oh, I can't go down there yet? I need a key. Oh, crap. Oh, Bowser, don't laugh at me. Let's go outside. Let's go to the ghost mansion. I haven't done the ghost mansion one yet. Are there no ghosts out here yet? Did they not unlock for a while? I thought there was... Well, okay, then. See, that's the problem with kind of knowing what the game's going to amount to, is that... Oh, yeah, because... Oh, come on. That's the problem with kind of knowing where the game goes, is that I need to see that ghost in the tower first. Have I been in here yet? Yeah. Where have I been? Isn't this a riveting let's play with me being completely lost in Peach's castle? <gasps> Three stars, number one! There we go. There we go. Plunder into the sunken ship. Oh, this is another um, beautiful music. And so, 
if you follow my written content over on IGN.com slash blog slash Kaz Risk, uh, then you know that this summer, this past summer of 2015, I went on a tour with a band from my school, and um, our keyboardist had this really airy sound that he would use as kind of filler um, in between sets, and... Uh, wait, where do I go? I'm supposed to go in here, right? I need to scare this guy out. Yo, come out here, bro. Is he coming out? Oh crap, I'm gonna drown. Mario, get out of the water, Mario. Go, Mario, go. Mario, go. No, Mario, no. <laughs> you can't die like this. Oh, he just literally jumped, I mean, full on out of water. Wait, did I not get enough air? How is that not enough air? Oh, come on. There you go. You don't need to jump all the time, Mario. You can just cool it. Alright, got him out of there, though. Look at that. Uh, in between sets, though, my keyboardist had a very airy sound, and he could make this replicated sound almost perfectly. It was insane. Oh, how about those camera angles? Okay, some of these are going to shock me, right? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yo, I can't... Don't get on my case about... Freaking air. I can't. Oh, please have. Oh, oh my gosh, that's brutal. Oh, Mario, are you okay? Oh my gosh. And Bowser's just laughing at the brutal drowning of Mario. <laughs> it's sick. Oh, oops. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong there, but you know what, you know what I'm trying to do, right? Where I do the whole. Do I have to jump first and then do the hole? No, I have to do... There we go. Sorry. There's a pride moment there where I just really wanted to show that I could actually do it. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, though. I mean, I don't I don't know how the commentary is on this Let's Play. It's harder to do with, without my brother here, you know, like to do the witty banner back and forth. But at the same time, um, a lot of this is just... Maybe it's just because I, I gr grew up with this game. My dad played this game a lot, and so I associate a lot of this gameplay and stuff with just thoughts of my dad playing the game, which are really happy memories. But uh, at the same time, especially with this level, there's just a serenity, I think, to this game. It flows very well. It plays very well. It's a little dated uh, in the controls, and I think the graphics are, I mean, are definitely dated. But at the same time, like, it's still a very enjoyable experience, and I find myself getting pretty immersed in it. Um, I, it would be, I think, very interesting to... Oh, there, the boat just appeared out of nowhere. To give this game to someone that's never played it before and never really was a part of that N64 classic gaming culture because I don't know if they'd have the same respect. Or, oh, are you serious? Come on. Oh, great. Does he go back in there? Mario, what are you? What? No, blah, 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 blah. I'm going on and on about how serene the game is, and here I am getting absolutely ticked. Oh, cool, yeah. Okay, he doesn't go back in there? Cool, cool, cool. I thought maybe he went back into his little hole, and I had to co coax him out again. All right, aim straight for it this time, Mario. I know you can do it. There you go. Okay. Here we go. We've already tried those three that are there, so let's try this one back here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, just completely get thrown off track because of that slight bump there. That's totally fine. Impeccable level design, Nintendo. I'm just kidding. I love Nintendo so much. There we go. Oh. Oh, I need to open him in order. That's right. 
Okay, so far so good. Let's try this one next. Oh, thank the Lord. And then we go. Oh. Now we have to climb up this thing. Wait, maybe we can make it up there before it drains. Go, 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 go. Swim, Mario, swim. Okay. Oh, you almost made it. Oh, no, oh, of course. You would do, you would, oh, yo. Did you oil your belly this morning, Mario? What in the world? Oh, that's cool. That's freaking fantastic. Fantastic. I just want to beat Bowser. Before I sign off, though, because we're going to do this one, then we're going to go fight Bowser. Um, this week, I already said that uh, Super Mario Maker is out, and it's no secret that I'm excited for that game. If you listen to Copi Podcast, if you read my blogs. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I should stop commentating for a moment and just focus on the task at hand. Okay, go up here. Ground pound. No, okay. Go up here. Cool. Great. Awesome. Go on this thing. Slowly go up. No! Mario! Mario, look at me. Mario, look at me. Right at me. No, Mario, don't try to turn around. Don't. Whatever. Mario, you listen to me. Mario. Okay, stay. Now jump up there. Good boy. Now you're gonna go. You're gonna jump on that part. No, you're gonna. There you go. Grab onto that. Perfect. Thank you. Now. Can you jump up there and grab that? Can you do that for me? Thank you. Now, cameraman, see what we need to do? You see where we're going here? There we go. Fantastic. Get that star and let's go kill Bowser. Freaking great. You've recovered eight of the power stars. Now you can open the door. There's big star, big Bowser, princess. Yeah. Wait. Hey. 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 Toe, talk to me. I just talk to him. The names of the stars are awesome. Yay. Hey, anyone, real quick, I just thought of this, but anyone wonder why uh, these aren't cheap cheeps? Why are they just fish? Have we ever seen fish in just a normal Mario game? Like, it's always cheap cheeps. Why are they not cheap cheeps? And why would they not design it like that? They have Koopas, they have Goombas, but they don't have cheap cheeps in this game? Do they have cheap cheeps in this game? Leave your comment in the comment section below if you know of cheap cheeps in this game. Uh, let's go kill Bowser. And then we'll call it a day. But I was going to say earlier, before I got extremely frustrated in that in that sunken boat. <gasps> My beloved Princess Toadstool. <gasps> That's not Princess Toadstool. Oh, plot twist. <laughs> You've been stepped right into, you stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. Oh, he called we're friends. Nice. Um, this music has come back in a lot of the other Mario games. Um, a lot of the other music hasn't necessarily come back. Um, but this Bowser kind of walk of shame has um, really come back and been a prevalent thing. Uh. I'm going to warn you, if you have not played uh, Super Mario 64 and you've only played the Mario, uh, the modern Mario games, you're going to be in for a surprise here when you see Bowser because Bowser is a little different in his younger days. He uh, was a little, little chunkier. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Easy. Take it. Okay. These camera controls are making me angry, 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 angry. Oh, no. I'm going to kill you. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. No time to dilly-dally. We got places to be. 
we got viewers at home that need to go eat lunch and they need to take their girlfriends out on a date and they need to party hard. I'm gonna punch you. I'm not even gonna jump on you. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, now were you? <laughs> oh man, I love this game. Okay, anyway, back to what I was trying to say a million times is this week, in honor of the Super Mario celebration, we're going to be playing Super Mario 64, as we are today. Tomorrow will be Super Mario Galaxy 1, and then we'll be, that'll be followed by Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario 3D World, and then we're going to end out this Mario series with a final Super Mario Maker video. Um, so yeah, tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. She's in another castle. <laughs> Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. <laughs> Wait, why would you even say that? You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never, huh? So I wonder how he wants me to try to attack him. Oh! Oh, there we go. Come on. There we go. Spin him. Spin him. I can't even see where the bombs are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Faster, 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 faster. Yeah, oh so long, Gabowza. Oh, ow. Hey. There we go. Got him. Um, it's really cool that in uh, Super Smash Brothers, um, if Mario does like the back throw, this is kind of what he does. He grabs someone and swings him around. And if he grabs Bowser, it's almost like identical to this. Oh, brutal! <laughs> get wrecked, Bowser. Oh, he only gets hit once? I thought he had to get hit three times. Grr, I was a bit careless. Yeah, you were taking your precious time to heave and hoe your fire. Oh, this is not as I had planned, but I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. Blah. <laughs> you'll never get... Uh, you'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go. I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this. But later. Because there's still... a bunch left of the game. I mean, he could easily kill me now, but... Just took it right at my butt cheeks. Just sat on down on that key, and it was mine. Oh, yep. Yeah, pulled out my overalls here. Rock it back and forth. Alright. Save and quit. Hmm... We go back to the menu screen where we can mess with them. There we go. Well, cool. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Let's play here on youtube.com slash Kazrisk. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like in the like button bar thing down below. And also leave a comment with maybe your Super Mario 64 memories. Um, and uh, when do you play it? Have you played it? Uh, did you enjoy it? Do you think it's aged well? Um, not necessarily graphically, but you think it's still an enjoyable game to play. Um, all of those thoughts and the things that I discussed in the commentary, be sure to comment down below. And also be sure to check out all my other Super Mario Let's Play videos. I did um, a whole two weeks worth with my brother as we led up to the release of Super Mario Maker. Um, this week, as I mentioned, I'll be doing Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, 3D World. Sorry, no sunshine. But, uh... Um, just because that's on the Wii U Virtual Console quite yet, and I don't have the capture software to capture a GameCube or a Wii. And so, uh, that's just the nature of it, but it, it'll be just fine. And then, um, I also am going to be releasing a bunch of Super Mario Maker videos in the upcoming weeks. I got some other Let's Plays you can check out, some live streams, and a whole bunch of written content over on IGN.com slash blog slash Kazurisk, where I discuss Mario, Nintendo, Sony, PlayStation, all the stuff. And so, once again, thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at KazRisk. And just everything that's down in the description below. There's a bunch of links that you can click and follow. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'll talk to you next time. And in case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you for watching. Bye.